Hi, I'm Steve Hammes, here with you again on the final press preview day of the 2005 New York International Auto Show. There were many more great reveals today, so let's quickly get you caught up. Today began with Toyota's hip division, Scion, unveiling a concept vehicle that blends the design of the XB with the sophistication of the TC. A veritable multimedia arcade on wheels, the Scion T2B's interior features a large information ticker which provides the user access to movies, games, and music via downloads from the internet. And in the rear window, a projection screen for movies, games, or screensavers that can be viewed from the inside or out. The T2B serves as a test platform for future Scion ideas. Keeping it young, Mitsubishi had on hand the 2006 Eclipse, which goes on sale later this spring, but their unveiling was for the new 06 Evo 9. In two years, this rally-bred sedan has already become the shining star in Mitsu's U.S. lineup, and the Evolution 9 raises power levels, improves aerodynamics, and revises gearing for the six-speed manual to better handle the 289 pounds-feet of torque from the four-cylinder turbo. Look for it on your teenage son's wish list soon. Has any company taken the auto world by storm over the last several years more than Hyundai? From punchline to now a quality leader, no one has turned it around more successfully than Hyundai. Replacing their flagship XG350 for 2006 is the beautifully styled and well-equipped Azera, with a 3.8 V6 making 265 horsepower and offering more interior room than a Mercedes S-Class. This car should continue Hyundai's good fortunes when it goes on sale in the fall. And at the other end of their lineup, the all-new 06 Accent Subcompact was unveiled. Styled with more elegance and, of course, bigger than before, the Accent will continue to offer a great value with a load of standard equipment that should keep the competition worried about Hyundai. Pitiful is how I would describe this unveiling from Isuzu. Yes, they're still in business. Adding to their lineup of one General Motors SUV, the Ascender, Isuzu is going to sell a pickup truck again. Now, before you accuse me of showing the wrong video, these Chevy Colorados I mean Isuzu i280 and i350 pickup trucks will offer some original Isuzu design. If you can still find an Isuzu dealer, these trucks will be there later this year. Over at Subaru, an updated Forester was on hand and goes on sale in June. Now with a new front fascia and more power across the board, Subaru's very competent but homely SUV will have to wait a while longer for a complete redesign. Best news, the 2.5 liter turbo engine in the XT model gets 20 more horses and that car was already pleasingly quick. Like in Detroit, Suzuki brought out another SUV concept, this time called Concept X2. With a V6, lots of standard safety features and full-time four-wheel drive, Suzuki says the Concept X2 is an incarnation of their way of life product development process. Overall, I think this means we're getting closer to a Grand Viterra replacement. Stay tuned. Volvo didn't have a new model to show off, but Sir Richard Branson was on hand to award his Virgin Galactic ride into space to this, I guess, lucky individual. Valued at $200,000, the ticket is good for whenever Galactic launches someday. For more immediate satisfaction, the guy also won a new XC90 V8. And finally, the Chrysler Group has taken the Hemi and injected a shot of high performance into the entire company by building hot rods for you and me. But what about the poor police? How will they catch you now? Well, in their 340 horsepower Dodge Charger police car, that's how. Available to law enforcement this fall, the specially equipped Charger with Hemi will join the police version of the Magnum previously announced. That'll do it here in New York. For Drive Time on Car TV, I'm Steve Hammes.